So today I'm behind the wheel of the 2022 Audi Q7, and I'm going to take some time to showcase the interior of this thing. So starting as I normally do from left to right, over on the left, you've got your window switches, you've got your rear mirror adjust, tucked down there is a latch for the trunk. Up top, you've got your door latch, you've got your door locks, and then you've got three buttons for the seating uh, position. Uh, you can preset to two options as well as the set button. Then you've got up to the right of that, some lighting uh, options. Center driver is the full digital uh, gauge cluster, the Audi virtual cockpit. So there are multiple screens, four of them, and then different uh, things you can cycle through on each one. So this is kind of the main information screen, whatever you're listening to, favorites on the phone, or you can adjust it to the call list, and then the map. Now on each screen, like I said, you can switch between two different options. So this is one on this screen. This is the other alternate, alternate, the alternate for the phone, and then the map, which is probably the best screen in my opinion, but for the purposes of um, this video, I'll just leave it right here. I'll showcase how you can get into this special S performance screen as well. And not a lot of owners actually know that they have that option on the standard Q level models. So how I was adjusting everything up top is over here on the left. So going left, right, you go between the four different pages. On the uh, main information screen, you can cycle up and down between different options. So starting at the top, you get the date and time, the consumption level of the vehicle, short-term memory, long-term memory, energy consumers, driver assistance, traffic signs, I normally just leave it on date and time if I'm on this screen, but I'm usually on the map screen. This view button right here is how you cycle between two different options. Over on the right, you've got a favorites button, your talk buttons, as well as the tuner and volume controls. On the back of the steering wheel, you have down and up shifting capabilities. Moving to the navigation screen. So this is the home screen and pretty much all the app bubbles. So you got radio, media, phone, navigation. I currently have my phone connected, Android Auto. You got vehicle, so in vehicle, um, you can go to the Audi Drive Select screen. So that's basically the drive mode. I'll also show how you can just quickly select between the drive modes on the center console. But you got vehicle data, showcasing you know, the um, angle of the vehicle, GPS coordinates. Efficiency assist, seats, you can kind of control what the seats are doing, air conditioning, light visibility, you can adjust the exterior interior lighting, parking aid, driver assistance, setting, service. On the second page, you have help, users, messages, legal notes, weather, news, calendar, and purchases. This is the like the home screen you can customize, but basically the app up will start on the second page, as you can see identified down here. There's also five kind of quick preset buttons. So home, radio, uh, media, phone, and navigation are kind of quick select touch buttons on the side. Below that is a, another touch screen, but this is specifically for the climate control system as well as a couple presets at the top, including the engine start stop, a hill ascent, um, a couple other options as well, garage door opener and the turn the screen off. But most of your HVAC controls can be controlled by these touch sensitive buttons. So you just push it, it kind of has a tactile feedback as well. And it kind of displays up on the top what you just selected as well. Right here is the drive select uh, up and down buttons. So pushing one of these will quickly pop you into the drive modes. So I just pushed up and now I'm in the drive select so I can kind of cycle through them. And as well as individual, which is the customized. So you can go between balance and sport on the drive, comfortable balance sport on suspension, comfortable balance sport on your steering there's basically two different ways to get in the drive select that menu I showed from the settings as well as right here. Then you got traction control off, you got your hazards, you've got the max, um, the frost for the front and rear. You got the engine start stop button located right here. You got a parking um, camera button. So pushing this will display cameras around the vehicle and you can kind of cycle through. So 
So I'm currently parked next to some grass, as you can see. Pushing again, makes it disappear. Got sensors uh, for the vehicle, or driver assistance sensors, and as well as the volume and tuner knob located right here, should you want to control it from the center console. Back from that, you've got two cup holders. I'm currently using it to hold the bottom of the gimbal I'm using, as well as a 12 volt smoker's plug right here. To the left of that, you've got the gear lever. So it has reverse, neutral, park, drive. Once you're in drive, you can hit it back again and it'll put you in sport. Um, and if you want to put it in park, it's a button right here on the gear shifter itself. And it lights up and displays right here. Um, there's the parking brake latch right here. If you're on an incline or decline, it will actually enable automatically, which is nice. You've got your armrest. So there's kind of a cubby hole. You put a phone right there, but lifting it releases a charging pad and there's two USB-C um, plugs right here, as well as some nice space to the right of that. Going to the passenger side, features nice Quattro branding up top. Got a glove box. You can see the Bang Ooflin um, surround sound system on the passenger door, but the speakers are throughout the cabin. Give you a look at the passenger door. The seats. I currently have my child's car seat in the rear. Give you a look at that. It features a sunroof for both the front and rear of the cabin. And the sunroof control is located up top. That is pretty much the interior of the 2022 Audi Q7. There's some feature I didn't go in depth enough on and you have some questions, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to find you an answer. And if I can't, I'll be sure to point you in some direction. Thanks for watching.